Have you been having a lot of negative thoughts? Is negative thinking taking over your mind? Are these thoughts holding you back in your life? Well, have I have a solution for you. For only $8.13 a month, you can fight your negative thoughts today. And all you have to do is... Okay, so don't listen to anything that that guy was saying. What you should actually do is stop fighting your negative thoughts. Let's talk about it. Okay, so before I get started, two things. One, this is the second time I'm recording this video because I forgot to turn my mic on the first time I recorded it. Stupid. The second thing is that this video is inspired by a spoken word that I put out last week. We shot it in San Diego. I had a limited amount of time to write and film it, but check it out once you're done with this video. Okay, so I know it sounds weird to say that you shouldn't fight your negative thoughts, but hear me out. Let me explain. See, here's the thing. We all have negative thoughts. It's absolutely normal to have these thoughts circulating in our minds. Just today, I felt a little incompetent because there were some things that I didn't understand at my job, which is the perfect segue into why I don't believe we should fight our negative thinking. And that is that having negative thoughts is absolutely normal. According to the National Science Foundation, 80% of our thoughts are negative and 95% of our thoughts are repetitive. Now, I'm a big fan of being unique and different, not following the crowd just for the sake of following in the crowd, but there are some basic human norms that we all have in common. We all get hungry, we all need to breathe oxygen, and we all have negative thoughts from time to time. Now, I think it's important to understand that because once you understand that, you'll stop punishing yourself for having negative thoughts. The second reason I don't think we need to necessarily fight these thoughts is that we have to realize that they are not a representation of reality. A good example of this is the classic imposter syndrome. You know, when you think that you're not good enough, but people around you think that you are good enough. I was reading this article that was showing that a lot of famous actors actually feel this way. And one of the actors on that list was Tom Hanks. We're talking about Mr. Life is like a box of chocolates. We're talking about Wilson. I believe the article said something along the lines of he feels like he's a fraud and he wonders when other people will realize that he's a fraud too. Classic example of his negative thoughts not actually being reality. Another example that I know everybody can relate to is when you're driving down the road, in some way, somehow, you end up behind the world's slowest driver and you just have that one teeny thought that if I just ram the back of their car just to teach them a little lesson. Now that's a negative thought, but in reality, you would never do that. You wouldn't do that. I'm not, I'm not wrong about that, right? The truth is you are not your negative thoughts. You may feel like a loser, but in reality, you aren't actually a loser. Well, some of us, I'm totally kidding. Loser. Who said that? The next thing is that trying to fight your negative thoughts will just increase them. If I tell you not to think of the color blue, what color enters your mind? If I tell you not to imagine a monkey and a tiger get together and have a baby, what weird creature are you thinking of now? If I tell myself not to eat Chick-fil-A nuggets today, Oh yeah, your boy came with props. The point is that trying to fight these thoughts will only make you have more. It's almost an impossible battle to win, partly because they're normal, but here's what we can do about it. The first thing is think about your negative thoughts differently. An article that I read on Psychology Today said that when you have these negative thoughts, ask yourself these questions. Is this thought true? Is this thought important and is this thought helpful? This can help diffuse some of that thinking and give a different perspective on some of those thoughts, which goes back to my previous point that it can help you realize that these thoughts aren't reality. Essentially, it takes the power out of the negative thoughts that you're having. The next thing you can do is focus on how you react to those thoughts. For example, when I made this video, I thought this is a topic no one's gonna care about. This video isn't gonna get any love. No one's gonna watch it. Actually, those, those those things may be true. <laughs> and it actually sent me on a spiral and I even started thinking like, why am I creating YouTube videos? But despite those thoughts, I made the video 
anyway. So to boost my self-confidence, make sure you like, comment, and share the video. <laughs> Was that smooth or, or nah? You're going to have negative thoughts, but it's important not to let those thoughts dictate your decision-making or the moves that you make in life. Look, I love my wife, but sometimes my wife gets on my nerves. Sometimes she makes me mad to the point where I'm like, that's your side of the room, and this is my side of the room. But I would never allow any negative thoughts that I'm having in those moments to push me to walk away from my relationship. This actually makes me wanna add another one. This isn't in my notes, so this is off the top of the head. But you have to realize that some of your negative thoughts are temporary. It's just like a person who's not having success in finding good relationships. You know those people, and sometimes what they'll end up saying is, I'm gonna be single forever, or maybe I'm not meant to get married. But then fast forward a few years later, they find the one, they get married, and they're happy. The negative thought that I will never find love one, it wasn't their reality because they eventually did. And two, it was a temporary thing. The thing is that they didn't have love in the moment, but eventually they did. So realize that your thoughts sometimes reflect on a temporary situation. Therefore, you don't give them as much power as you think you should. And the third thing, which I guess now is the fourth, is talk to somebody. Sometimes it's good to have people you could talk to to help you make sense of your thoughts. Somebody who can be a sounding board, who you can bounce things off of. For me, I have a small group of married men that I can talk to about any issues or any problems that I'm having in my life. And maybe for you, you have some close friends or family that you could talk to, or maybe you even need to talk to somebody professional. If you are unable to deal with these thoughts in a healthy way on your own, I do think it's important to reach out and talk to somebody. So if you're having negative thoughts, should you try to replace them with positive thinking? Of course you should. I definitely encourage that. However, if those negative thoughts keep popping up, you're going to have to face them and deal with them. So that's why I don't think you should fight them. Instead, realize that they are normal, that they are not necessarily reflecting reality. You should face them head on, dissect them, understand them, and don't let them dictate the decisions that you make in your life. I would love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts about the things that I've said today. And ladies and gentlemen, until the next time, it's your boy K-Soul. Peace.